Okay, so uh, welcome to the mathematic work that uh, uh, just you have just done. So I want to give you the explanation of what uh, you are supposed to do. And uh, again, you, you, you will also get these workings on your, uh, in the classroom. So I want just to explain what is supposed to be done. So Muyaka had, uh, uh, the question number one was talking about Muyaka had money as follows. So you take four, four notes times a thousand, you get 4,000. Then three notes of 500, so three times 500, you get three uh, 1,500. Then 16 notes of 200, you take 16 times 200, you get 3,200. 11 notes times 100, you get 11 times 100, you get 1,100. And then nine notes of 50, so it's nine times 50, you get 450. So you add all of them. Once you have, uh, you have multiplied, then you add all of them. So it becomes 4,000 plus 1,500 plus 3,200 plus 1,200 plus 450. You'll get 10,250. Now, the question is, uh, she changed all the money to five shillings coins. So you divide 10,250 by five, then you'll get the, the, uh, the answer to be 2,050. And uh, that was supposed to be choice, choice B. Then uh, uh, to number two, a trader deposited 20,000 in a bank. So the total amount of money that is deposited in the bank is 20,000. Now the money was in the following denomination. So 1,005 notes. So you take 1,000 times five, you get 5,000. 500 notes were 15 notes. So you take 500 times 15, you get 7,500. 224 notes, you take 200 times 24, you get 4,800. Now, this 4,800, uh, 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 the, the amount of money, then they're telling us that the remaining amount was in 100 shillings notes and 50 shillings notes. So what we do first is we add uh, the 5,000 plus 7,500 plus 4,800, you get 17,300. So 17,300 minus the total amount that we were having, which was 20,000. So that 20,000 minus 17,300, you get 2,700. So this 2,700 is the one that was divided into 150. So you add 50 plus 100, you get 150. So 150, uh, div uh, divide, div uh, divide it with uh, 2,700, you will get 18 notes. So each of them was 18, 18. But the question is asking, how much money did the trader deposit in 50 shillings note? So you take 18 times 50, you will get 900 as the answer. Now for number, uh, number, number three, as I've already told you in the morning, you are supposed to paraphrase. You are supposed to paraphrase and tell us what you have. So this is a commission question. So you say salary is 500, so you write 500. Percentage commission, 5%, right, 5%. The sales of goods above, so above is 4,000. In one month, they sold goods worth 80,000. So uh, the total sales is 80,000. Then uh, how much did he earn that month altogether? So uh, they're asking us total earning. So you can put a question mark on total earning. Then, so me uh, write the formula for getting the total earning, which is equivalent to uh, basic salary plus commission. So we you see now we don't have commission, so you calculate commission. So the formula for calculating uh, commission is a uh, percentage commission times sales minus above in bracket. So you have to subtract above. So I take 80,000, I subtract 4,000, I will get 76,000. So 5% 5 of 76,000 will give you 3,800. So 3,800 is the commission. So you add it to uh 500 so you'll get a total of 4000 uh 4000 uh 4300 so that's the answer the number four is also still commission so you just still need to paraphrase so salary 1000 uh, uh percentage commission is five three percent above is ten uh ten thousand in one month sold good items worth sixty eight thousand five hundred so i will first of all get the 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 my subtract above from the total sale so i will subtract ten thousand minus sixty eight thousand five hundred i get fifty eight thousand 
then commission is 3 over 100 times 58,500. That one will give you 1,755. So this 1,755 plus, plus, uh, plus the salary, which was 1,000. So that will give you 2,755. For con construction number five, for construction number five, uh, I will post it in your group. So let's uh, let's go to number six. Now, for for uh, for number six, where we have the where we have the 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 the, the, nini, uh, uh, the indirect proportion. These are the easiest questions that we normally have. So we normally just say, just take the first two over there, the the, the last one, then then you divide. So it will be forty eight times twelve over 36 over 36 so that one will give you if you divide very well you get 16 and there is this question here that we normally being asked how many more so how many more you have to subtract so you take 16 minus the number which was there which is 12 then you'll be getting four so four is the answer for number eight this is direct proportion so direct proportion is not like indirect so direct proportion you say five days uh, these people earn 3,600. Now, uh, how, may, uh, how many more, what about 12 days? So you'll get, uh, you cross multiply, so five, uh, 3,600 times 12 over five, you will get 8,640. So 8,640, but the question here was also asking how much, how much more? So you subtract uh, 8,640 minus 3,600 so that you get the answer. Uh, so the answer will be 540. Then uh, last question is uh, on on what on on uh, on, uh, on formation of equations. So uh, first of all, when you are doing formation, you need to do what we call paraphrasing of work. So you have to paraphrase. So you say Kipto get x. So give Kipto x. Onyango gets twice. So Onyango will Onyango will get two x while Dinka get four less than Onyango. So if Onyango is two X, Dinka will be two X minus four. Then the total is 96 oranges. So you take 96 oranges as the total. So the first thing you do, add X, which is Kingori, Kipto, plus two X plus two X plus minus four. That gives you five X minus four, you equate to 96. Then collect the like terms. So four goes there, become a 96 plus four, because it's a minus, become a plus. So four, plus 96 gives you 100. So 4x, uh, 5x is equal to 100, divide both sides by five, you get 20. So x will be 20. So Kipto will be 20, uh, Onyango will be uh, 40, then uh, Dinka will be 40 minus four, which is 36. So 36 is the answer. So thank you very much uh, for listening and uh, see you tomorrow. Thank you.